Traditionally, comment and trackback spam has been a huge problem for bloggers. And not that long ago, it was so bad that many bloggers were considering turning off comments altogether just because there was so much spam, it was almost impossible to sift through the spam to get to the real comments. Fortunately, the brains behind WordPress came along and created this thing called Akismet. And Akismet is the ultimate spam filter for blogging systems. Now, it can work with a number of different blogging systems, but it comes with WordPress by default. When you install WordPress, Akismet is there. But it still needs to be activated and configured, and you need to know a little bit about how it works so that you can get the most out of it. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. This is the Akismet website, akismet.com. Remember the days before spam. I'm old enough to say that yes I do and it's sort of like that again now that Akismet came along. Um, Akismet is free for personal use as it says on the Akismet website but for commercial use you need to pay a small fee depending on how big your website is. Now they define commercial use as five hundred dollars a month in profit from your blog chances are the vast majority of you aren't even going to be close to making five hundred dollars a month from your blog so you can use a kismet for free and not worry about it if you are making at least five hundred dollars a month from your blog it's well worth it to pay a few dollars to automatic so that you can have a commercial license for a kismet so a kismet is activated through the plugin management screen you see it comes installed by default and we're going to activate it and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and use but before you do activate a kismet there's one thing you want to do that's going to make this whole process a lot easier you want to go to wordpress.com if you haven't already and create a user account um, if you, it's free just follow the sign up now link and create a free WordPress user account. I already have one, so I'm going to log in. And it is a little bit easier to get to the screen we want to get to if you're already logged in uh, at the time you enable a Kismet. And you'll see what I mean in just a second here. We're going back to the plugin manager. I've logged in in a separate tab to my WordPress account. I'm just going to click activate. Akismet has been activated, but up here you'll see Akismet is not active. Activated, but not active. You need to enter your WordPress API key for it to work. Well, what's a WordPress.com API key? That's a key you get for free with your WordPress.com account. And that allows you to use, WordPress, or to use Akismet on your blog. So I'm going to follow that link, which again wars, warns me that Akismet is not active and this is the Akismet configuration screen and down here you say please enter an API key get your key I'm gonna click that link to get your key and since I've already logged in that's gonna take me to my account information and it's gonna display the key that's been assigned to me your key will be different down here at the bottom of the screen you see this is your API key now I'm going to obscure this because everyone needs to use their own API key. You'll get your own when you create your WordPress.com account. I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to go back to my Akismet configuration screen. Paste that value in. There's one other option here that I'm going to check and this is an optional thing automatically discard spam on posts older than a month. Akismet blocks spam automatically but stores it in a queue that I'll show you in a second so that you can review it to see that it really is spam before you delete it all. 
You can tell Akismet, though, to automatically discard anything it thinks might be spam on posts that are over a month old. This really is a, a judgment call. I turn this on automatically because, or any time I install Akismet, because generally after a month, most of the comments that are going to come through on a post have already come through. And if, if Akismet thinks something is spam, on something on a post that's over a month old there's a pretty good chance that it really is spam so it can go ahead and delete those automatically without my review so I'm going to update my options and my key has been verified and the Kismet is now active on my blog and it will begin vigilantly monitoring all incoming trackbacks as well as incoming comments and isolate anything that it suspects to be spam I'm going to show you what this does to your comment screen. Now you'll see here, this is on a test server, so we don't have any comments, and um, probably not going to get any comments on a test server. So we're going to go over to a, a live blog where Akismet is running in action right now. This is all tags. We've used this blog as an example in other videos. See so the comment screen now with Akismet active, we have an Akismet submenu where we can get to all of the messages, all of the incoming comments that Akismet suspects of being spam. So when we click on that, we'll see Akismet has six messages that it suspects of being spam. And you can see it's the usual range of uh, comments advertising various pharmaceutical products. If we were to find something that we thought maybe wasn't really spam that we wanted to let through, we could click this not spam box. And it looks in fact like this first item here maybe isn't spam. So we're going to say that's not spam. And we scroll down here to the bottom we will de-spam marked comments. So that comment that was captured inadvertently has been taken out of the Akismet spam queue. We recovered the comment. But generally that's very rare that Akismet will catch something that isn't spam in my experience. Everything else here can be flushed. We'll just delete all and those are now gone. And you can see a count here. Akismet has captured 153,223 spam comments. Now conversely, over on your comments tab, if you find something that you think is spam that didn't get caught, you'll want to go ahead and click the spam link and that will automatically send it over to the Akismet queue. And you'll see that on the Akismet submenu. The reason you want to do that, one is to, to get it out of your comments, but also because Akismet is a collaborative spam filter. So one of the ways that Akismet identifies spam is by users like yourself finding comments that are spam, marking them as spam, and then it will send that comment to a centralized Akismet server that then will use that information to refine what it considers to be spam. And so the whole community of WordPress bloggers who are using Akismet and marking comments as spam are all helping each other out by marking comments as spam. And that is the Akismet spam filtering system. Uh, if you're going to blog with WordPress, by all means turn it on. Make sure you get your WordPress.com account created so you can get your own API key. And I just, I can't imagine blogging without a Kismet on. It really has made a huge difference in terms of the quality of the comments that we receive, our ability to interact with commenters on our blogs. Um, in the days before Akismet, it was unbearable, but now it's, it's almost like the days before spam. It really has been great. So that's Akismet. Don't blog without it.